force that lasts for a small time. See how cute that is? Increases. That's an outcome. Love it. So. Increases stopping time, which decreases the stopping time. You asked me to try. Now, I will tell you, this, to be honest with you, this is actually a huge thing that exists all over your world. Like, there's a ton of examples. Let me give you one. You're driving up to a stop sign. You can stop one of two ways. You can either apply large force, but then what happens to your stopping time? It's small. Or, if you apply a small force, what do you know about the stopping time? It's very large. So you have the same mass and change in velocity. You can do small force over a large time, or you could do large force over a small time. How about this? I'm going to climb up on this desk here, and I'm going to jump off. Now, how should I land? On your feet. I should land and do what? Bend my knees, right? But what if I jump off, and I'm going to lock my knees, just land straight there? You're going to hurt a little bit. But why would you break something? Because your knees give you some more time. leverage. Your knees give you more stop. Is that what you roll when you like jump off something? Yeah. You jump off with your literally the reason. Doesn't it even out the force that's on your body if you roll after? No, you're just increasing the stopping time, which decreases the stopping force. Okay? So that's why you would bend your knees when you landed, because you want less force on you. So you increase the stopping time to decrease the stopping force. Right? Who can catch? You can. I can. I can. I can. I can. I literally played baseball using my left hand. Ready? I'm going to throw this ball. This Charlie ball. can catch. I'm going to throw this light ball with you. Oh, oh, that. That. Ready? Don't drop it. Please don't drop it. OK, did you see how she caught it? Throw it back. So, ooh. <laughs> okay, maybe we need to I looked up to see you, and I just almost dropped. Uh, did you see how she caught it? How'd she catch it? Like this. Like you catch an egg. Exactly. Why do you do that? Less force. Less force. Yeah, whatever they say. You increase the stopping time, which decreases the force. So take a moment, and I want you and your neighbor to come up with one of these instances which you can contrast to another one. Increase the stopping time to decrease the stopping force. When you touch someone in the arm, like, you like, move away. When you're falling, you're falling. No. What? Those are hands. Falling me. Oh, I don't know what you're saying. And then you like, stop. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> All right, who's got one? Yes. Yeah, that's a good one. What's that? What? Let's hear it. Actually, so good. It was um, riding a bike and using your brake or using your foot. Like you're oh, yeah, using your foot, the hand is using your foot, and then you use your foot, and you grab your hog down. You ever do that? <laughs> no, I don't know exactly what you're doing. Um, your shoes. Um, I suppose Remember if you just when you're little and you pedal and then like to stop, you like go the other way. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you ride a bike and you're like, oh my god, that's like you can stop. That sounds like that. Yeah, me either. Uh, Ren, will you uh? Join us, please. Lexi! Oh. We'll come back. Go. Oh, jumping your jaw off. What about it? You jump up and you like, get as low as you can landing so you don't hurt yourself. That was my example. So. You gotta come up with your own example. No, you have to have both when you jump off the table. Literally the same thing. Lexi! When I run, I try to like, land a different way and like, land softer so oh, yeah. that I don't like, keep so, um, this is actually a billion dollar industry, um, what? running shoes. So one of the first things they did was they, when they had like new rubber, they put them on running shoes because every impact, if you're running on rubber shoes, it increases the stopping time, which decreases the force on your legs. 
Okay? So you just, I mean, so you can run more, right? So that's a, that's a billion dollar industry. Sophia. Oh, I don't have any money. Elon Musk is what? I don't even know what else I think of either. Go. When you get hit in lava tree. That is, this is a good example here, right? Like, wow, um, wow. George had the same example. Tell us yours. Like when you slap someone in the face, like. <laughs> <laughs> well, if someone is punching you, you should move with it because you're still going to get impacted. But if you increase the time of the impact, it decreases the overall force. Same in hockey. Um, think about boxing gloves. Right? Boxing gloves are padded on the front, right? Isn't that just so it doesn't hurt as bad? That is the point, though. Like, <laughs> every impact that you increase the time to decrease the force, and it does two things. One, it, the thing that it does is that's actually not to protect the person getting punched, it's to protect the puncher. Because whatever force you apply is the same force back on your hand. So if you don't want to break your hand every time, you make the, the glove padded enough. That's why people say to like, wow. either, like, <laughs> I've seen that where you like pull the lighter in your hand to yeah. punch somebody yeah. so your hand doesn't move in and break your hand. Interesting. Yeah, yeah. Well, roll a quarter, so, man. Yeah, Just yeah, kidding. Yeah. Uh, Sahit, what do you got for us? Oh, um. Uh, that's your idea. Yeah. 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 What's that? What? Like shoes? Could you to Yeah, that's it. That's the same thing. So they um you put air in shoes to because you can compress the air a little bit, it's the same thing. Um there are a ton of examples of these. Uh, have you ever seen a football player catch a football? What do they do? They do this. Increase the time, decrease the force, doesn't pop out. If you play the cross, how do you catch the ball? You like Do you give with it when you catch it? Yeah. Also, because you're, play hockey when you catch the pass. Exactly, yeah. exact same thing. Um, why are there airbags in cars? Same volleyball too. So you don't smack your face into When you're setting the volleyball. But this is it. It comes in. The quintessential example. Okay. Quintessential example is the airbag. The whole point of the airbag is like if you're in a car going 35 and that car stops because it hits a wall. You're still going 35. You have to come to a stop also. Do you want to come to a stop against the windshield, no. which is a small time large force, or do you want to come to a stop against an airbag, which is a... The airbag. Right? This is what airbags do. What's that? Uh, yeah, but it, it, only if the, the stuff gets on you, but the difference is you would be dead otherwise. Yeah. So I will take a little bit of, you know... Well, me too. I mean, I'd rather get burned than have my head smashed through a window. Um, one more thing, you ready? Or a brick wall. Okay. I don't think burning. Isn't that what your headrest is for too? To like cushion your head back? Um, yeah, but then if you survive, you can so say you don't get whiplash when you're dead. Yeah. Oh, don't do that. The headrest oh. actually goes on your neck. Oh. Oh. If I ever was a bird victim, that would be Wait, isn't that true? Yes, that's what I would say. Your headrest is actually going on your neck. Don't do that. I 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 don't do that. Gentlemen, ladies, reset, please. Hey, is your head rest your neck? Uh, so, when you were in a car... No, that's a serious question. I'm going to answer your serious question. Oh, okay. When you were in a car and you're sitting at a stoplight, you're just hanging out, you listen to music, <laughs> if a car... What song are you listening listen, to? Listen, oh if a car hits you from behind, your car is going to move. You are sitting in the seat, okay, which is bolted to the car frame, the seat is going to move. Here's the problem. Your head... As an object, as an object at rest. Its natural tendency is to stay at rest. So as your body moves forward and your head stays resting, it snaps back like that. That is problematic for your brain. Okay? Well, it's problematic for your spine. Yes. So the head rest is literally there for that not to happen. Okay? But the head rest is supposed to rest 
in your neck, right? Like no. you're not actually supposed to rest right here. Yes, Th that's yeah, it's yes. on your head. It is not called a neck rest. It's your head. No. It's the black hair. Why are they hurt? Why are they hurt like that? Why are the things that we're not going to talk about on the board? All right. Ready? Listen closely. Must have um, no, I don't, but I thought Ladies, in this, in this scenario here, in this scenario, you have a bullet. This bullet is the same for both the rifle and the handgun. Okay. Um, and what we have here is, I would like to know, if you fired the same bullet, same mass, same powder, out of the rifle or out of the handgun, it leaves which of these moving faster? So I would like you to use our fat math framework here to answer this question. Ready, set, go. So the time. Time is less with so far, this is the first thing that's working. So it's going to be. I don't know if you want to talk about this. Active time is last. I think it no, that's a great question. So, combustion, combustion, gunpowder. <laughs> All right, gunpowder and combustion. Ready? Um, Not chili. Danny, what do you think? Gunpowder. Yeah. Danny, Mike, what do you think? Um, I think it's gonna be the balloons. The rifle. Yes. Yes. The bullet coming out of the rifle is faster. Yes. Yes. Facts. Yeah. The pistol. No, it should be the rifle. It's the rifle. Maybe not using physics. But no, no. no. Right. Physics is the world, man. It's not like we just oh, have there's rules there's in here that are different than rules out there. Maybe we forgot to put gunpowder. Yes. So. <laughs> What is the difference between these two pictures? More, more, more time in the first one, more force in the first one equals faster in the first one. So, um, focus please. Force is the same for both. Same oh. bullet. Okay then. Okay. So then more time equals So faster. let's do the red one. When we do the hump. Okay. When we do the hump, this is the time. Wait, hold! I am so confused. This is the bullet. Because it should be faster. It goes faster. It's weird. No, wait. It takes more time to accelerate the barrel. Yeah, but the force is being applied the whole time. Oh, I see. So when I look at the hump for the blue one, when I look at the hump for the blue one. <laughs> So what do you notice about the area for the blue hump? Okay. So the area for the blue one is much bigger than the area for the red hump. Okay. Which means that if the FT area is bigger, the change in velocity is bigger. Okay. So in this case, since the force, the overall force is the same, the one with the larger force time area is going to have a larger change in velocity. Um, this is the reason, if you ever see um, like an actual battleship, like a warship, like a naval battleship, they have guns on them, they're cannon, they're huge, I mean these things are long, they're like 50 meters long because they can shoot, they can shoot the shells 
tens of miles. Like, think about that. Really? Um, have you ever seen a major league pitcher? Yeah. yeah. Yes. What's one of the miles. deciding features of major league pitchers? Long arms. They're tall dudes. They have much. They have super long arms, which means that they can apply the force over more time, which means a bigger FT hump, which means a bigger force. Okay. Bigger change in velocity. Okay. So that's why. Yeah. Does that make sense to you guys? Yeah. So. These are two examples of using this um, using this mathematical framework to try to understand our world. Okay, feel good about that? All right. Transition. Next page. Okay. Transition to the next page. Momentum. I thought you didn't like that word. Well, here's the deal. <laughs> Momentum is a word that gets used a lot in your everyday life. 